This is the last Game & Watch that, uh, like, was an actual Game & Watch, and then they came out the, like, Mario and Zelda ones, which are just, you know, ROMs. This is, a, this is the last real Game & Watch, which, of course, is just a, um, also... It is an interesting choice to go out on because, you know, it's just Ball, which is the first game I watched. They're just bringing it back uh, with Mario instead, and, uh... <clears throat> well, it looks like Mario, so... There's that. We will be here for a while because I'm only going to stop when I miss or hit, I guess, 300 points or something. But, you know, is this better than Ball? I feel like... <sighs> Probably not. I think I, I like actually how ball looks more than this. This just looks kind of weird to me. Maybe like 200 points is a lives reset for ball. Generally, I don't really care about lives reset though. It doesn't really matter. Because, you know, if you don't miss, you would just never know when it happens. Um, gotta miss on purpose to even know that. Two hundred points. I should rage quit. Um, this goes on forever, you know. So, so I guess I'll do game B. about it, that's about it for this one. This almost should not be counted as a separate entry on the list, but I will count it anyway. Because, you know, it's not like the same, it's not called the same game, at least. You know, Egg and Mickey Mouse are the same game, but uh, then you got Climber, new screen, new widescreen, and Crystal Screen. But uh, <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention. Um, but now we know that Toad shows up, so I'm glad that we failed. I did not know Toad was in this game.
And we get to confirm the lives reset as well. not actually achieve 200 points we have to be careful here Clearly wasn't good enough value my game B. Okay. Yeah, this is more interesting. So yeah, this is in this case it might be better than ball just because of game B. I guess. Um spices things up a little bit, I suppose. I don't really understand why this is like the only game in watch game that gives you the option to score like a hundred points or something or ten points. Um, seems weird. None of the other ones do this, and I don't know why this one does that. These guys are freaking out at me. Come on, man. It's not that big of a deal. The audio is kind of weird for this game. It almost sounds like music, but it's just sound. It's kind of weird. So, I mean, this is probably a faster scoring game. There's a sort of split second decisions. It's really all it comes down to. The rest of the game is pretty easy, so. Except for those split second decisions. So, it's about the only way you can fail. Mm. 
Okay, we got a thousand. So, I mean, this solidified the game as uh, better than Ball, this game B, I guess, because they put Mario stuff in. So, um, yeah. Put in Lakitu, put in Hammer, bro. That's how you know this is an old game, dude. Because those were the uh, most devastating Super Mario Bros. enemies by a long shot. Um. Maybe not so much Lakitu, but definitely Hammer Bros. But yeah, Lakitu, second most powerful enemy in the original Super Mario Bros. Behind the Hammer Bro. Um, maybe Bullet Bill is in that conversation though. Bullet Bill might be more uh, scary than uh, Lakitu. at the end it was a bit of a goof but you know basically seen everything in this game so I've now seen like two and uh like two smiling this guy would go on to be the camera in super mario 64 then you got the hammer bro which any other game after the mario super mario and lost levels he's a complete joke enemy after those i i think um maybe Maybe not in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but it's been so long since I've played, I don't really know.